Well, good morning, and it's much later than I usually do this, so you didn't watch it this morning. But I appreciate the fact that you're willing to, to you want to look at the Word of God and see what it has to say. And not that great a, a picture today. Got the sun right in the back of my head there. But um, anyway, we're in Leviticus 18, and we're looking at all the do nots about sex. You know, God created sex. And this may seem awkward coming from your dad, but uh, we're just going to go to the Word of God. And here we go. We're going to go verses 9 through 15 of Leviticus 18. We're going to be here in a while. God has a lot to say about sex. So, uh, Verse 9. Do not have sexual relations with your sister, either your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born in the same home or elsewhere. So it can't be a half-sister or anything like that. You can't do it. All right? And that would include adopted sisters. All right. Verse 10, do not have sexual relations with your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter. That would dishonor you. Uh, so you can't have sex with a granddaughter. That's what that's talking about. Verse 11, do not have sexual relations with the daughter of your father's wife. Again, that would be... Um, so the daughter of your father's wife, that would be a stepdaughter, I guess, born to your father. She is your sister. Okay, well, I guess that's a sister. I'm having a hard time. But anyway, just try not to be doing it with anybody related to. Verse 12, do not have sexual relations with your father's sister. So your aunt, I guess. She is your father's close relative. You can't have sex with your aunt. Verse 13, I mean, you ever remember, all these people were kind of living together. So they, they might have thought about this. They were out in the wilderness there, and they were out in tents. And, you know, maybe they thought about some of this kind of stuff. Well, God had to tell them, you can't do it. Verse 13, do not have sexual relations with your mother's sister, because she's your mother's close relative. That would be your aunt on your mother's side. Okay, 14, do not dishonor your father's brother by approaching his wife to have sexual relations. Again, that would be your aunt. She is your aunt. It even tells you there, okay? Verse 15, do not have sexual relations with your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. Do not have relations with her. All right? So even if she comes on to you, you got to tell her no. All right? That's the way that works. All right, and that's enough for today. We got a bunch more of these. All right, I'm just telling you. I figure that's enough of them for today. And we'll come back tomorrow. And we'll get a bunch more of do not have sex with so-and-so on the next edition of Take 5.